Hey guys, Matt Weintrier from Fujifilm. Today we're talking about the interaction between your flash and your shutter speed. First things first, go into your menu and navigate to your shutter type. You can use electronic front curtain with flash, but mechanical shutter provides the best results at high shutter speeds. Now let's look at our shutter speed dial. There's a number that has an X next to it. This is your X-Sync speed. On this X-T4, it's 1 250th of a second. The X-Sync speed can be different depending on your camera, but it always means the same thing. This is the fastest shutter speed you can use with a normal flash. Any faster than this, and the light from the flash will be blocked by part of the shutter as it starts to close. This part of the image will be dramatically underexposed, as you see in this photograph. That isn't to say it can't be done, though. If you want to sync with shutter speeds higher than your X-Sync, you'll need a flash capable of high-speed sync. This Fujifilm EF-X500 has extra contacts on the hot shoe so that it can communicate better with the camera. This allows the flash to sync with the camera at any mechanical shutter speed. This feature is called high-speed sync, or HSS. Here's just one example of the many applications of HSS. This first image was taken with no flash and a shutter speed of 1 640th of a second. For this second image, the shutter speed was increased to 1 2500th of a second, and a flash capable of high-speed sync was added. This method allows us to separately control the exposure of the scene and the exposure on the subject. If the guy in those images looks familiar, it's because they were taken using a simple setup in the alleyway behind my garage. Having the right tools and the right settings can go a long way to improving your results. Now you know a little bit more about how your shutter speed and your flash can work together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.